Hello and welcome back to the Commissioner's Office. My name is Ryan and today we're opening some more Pokemon Booster Packs. Today we have the Zacian and Zamazenta box again. You probably watched it earlier in the week or last week, but that's because I lost the video and you got to see the one I recorded months and months and months ago, last week Wednesday. Well, today we're gonna be doing it again. This one's a little bit longer of an intro, but if you haven't seen them before, this is the shiny Zamazenta box. You get a pin, you get a little figurine, you get 11 booster packs, some sleeves, and then this shiny Zacian uh, Pokemon, which is really cool. And then these Zamazenta, which honestly I'm a Zacian fan, but the Zamazenta colors are just sick. I mean, this is like pink and gold. You got the pin, you got the figurine, you got the shiny one, you got the sleeves, you got 11 booster packs. And then to round it out, because we are going gold hunting today, we need to find some of the gold cards. We got an Articuno, Tin as well with five booster packs in it. And without further ado, we're going to jump into opening some Pokemon booster packs right now. Let's go gold hunting. Check it out. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Keep tuning in. Let's check it out. All right, everybody. Welcome back. We are here with another edition of the Crown Zenith set. We are going hard. We are looking for gold cards today. I have pulled one gold card. I think that was an origin form Palkia. We're just going to go for it today. We're going to get that and hopefully the Mewtwo fighting the Charizard in the air. That is a sick card. We're just going to go ahead and open all of these right away. Empty out the contents. Take a look at them. You've already seen it in the first video. We're going to do it again. This is going to be a pain in the butt to open. It's very difficult. Oh, gosh. These are so tough to open. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Okay. That didn't do anything. That did nothing at all. This is... Okay, this glue is premium. This is premium. This this glue is premium. The box is premium. I couldn't ask for two better Pokemon to be featured in this set, by the way. The Crown Zenith uh, premiums. Zashin and Zamazenta are, are in my opinion, sick. Um, are Maridon and pretty cool? I think Maridon is. I think Karaidon's lame, but that's okay. Uh, very cool little pin right here. We got the cool little figurine. You guys can chill right there. And then the ever awesome Zashin V shiny. Look how awesome that is. I mean, that's just a really cool card overall. Boom, right in that, sit in front of Mega Gyarados EX. And you guys can have the code carriage. And then the sleeves, which I think they kind of ruin it with this type right here. It's like, why'd you do that? It looks so clean and then they gotta add that. I, they, they're okay, they're not the greatest, they're okay. And then there should be Once Booster Packs, which it's 11, that's Spanish for 11. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once. So there's 11 right there. By the way, Poca Chloe's order, or uh, my order from Poca Chloe came in. Uh, Hidden Fates uh, opening that I was a part of. Got a Mewtwo GX, got a Drampa GX Shiny, and a Shiny Scyther, which is one of the coolest Shinies to get out of that set. Uh, just wanted to advertise that really quick. She was really quick with um, shipping those over to me. I did the opening a while ago. She holds them for you and then sends them out as soon as you pay. And I paid. All right, so I'm going to be a little careful with this. I don't have a lot of room to do it. You can see me opening it right here. I have no reason to swap out packs or do anything like that. You'll probably see it too. If I don't get good luck, well then, it has nothing to do with me doing anything with the pack. So here it is. I mean, you can see it. I just pulled it out. You heard me doing it. Um, we're going to pull this out first because it looks like it's falling out of the box as we speak. Boom. You can sit up there in front of Sleepy Tyranitar. And there's the code card, the really cool Zamazenta figurine, and the really cool pin. God, that one's sharp. Honestly, that looks great really see his head though it's kind of just blends in with everything you guys can sit right there you can face each other like you're dueling over each other oh let's make this right then because ocd's kicking in there you go you sit over there and you sit over there we will we will battle oh my god that's such a good idea let's do that we have 27 booster packs so there'll be one undecided and i'll go for sleepy tyranitar we'll do a contest yeah we're totally doing this right now we're totally doing it we'll see who'll win zashin or zamazenta We'll put these packs on either side and see who wins. Um, so that one, those 11 were out of the Zamazenta. So that will go over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Shoot. Okay, so we'll just grab a random one. I don't remember where it was. But this will be the Zashin pile versus Zamazenta. The rest of them will split up. Those were the same. And then the last thing was a tin. We got the tin right there. We're gonna open it up. My cat got to it, that's why it looks a little ripped, but trust me, it's completely sealed. Um, where did I buy this? I don't even remember. Amazon, maybe? It's could, it could be. 
I don't remember. I remember the price being really good wherever I bought them for. I'm gonna jump on it whenever you get a really good price. So we got five booster packs in here, plus the Articuno um, promo, big deal. Don't like this card really. It's very playable, but, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I like this card. I do not like the Zapdos. I think they did Zapdos some dirty right there. Code card right there, gonna put those away off camera. And then one, two, three, four, five booster packs. We're just gonna split them up. And then one in the middle for Tyranitar. All right, so we're just gonna do it pile to pile. Zamazenta versus Zacian. Let's check it out. Let's see what happens here. So let's start with pack number one. We're gonna go for the gold cards in this one. It's been a long time since I've pulled anything out of this set. It's very disappointing so far. I usually do really well with uh, subsets, but not this one. I have been struggling to pull anything. En Energy Retrieval, Execute, Cherubi, Young Goose, Poketo, Snorlax, my boy, Knitted Up real nice, and then Enamorous. So starting off kind of thin. So that's going to be the pile of Zama Zenta. And then we'll go with a Zashin right here. We'll see who takes the lead. Um, if I'm going to put, I'm going to put a buck against myself on Zashin. So if I win, or against Zamazenta, if I win, I, I get a dollar for myself. Ultra Ball. I, I feel like it's been a while since I've opened these, so it's like kind of new to what is in here again. Don't really remember. Amolga Comfy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, great. So that's our first hit right there. I'm on, on the bar, uh, on the ball with. Um, <laughs> Zashin winning the opening, but that's getting a sleeve. This Comfy is super playable. Everybody plays it in the tournament. Um, Kyle, if you're watching, you probably want that card. He was one of the opponents I played at um, regionals. Very cool guy. Um, he played a Comfy deck and uh, dominated me with the Charizard, the Radiant Charizard at the end. I remember that. I remember it. Um, I definitely had a fighting chance. I think we went three games uh, he won the first one i won the second one i believe he won the third and continued going on uh but very cool guy so what's up man nice uh nice having you as a viewer i've seen you uh check him out a couple times so that's really cool but anyways back to the packs uh let's nothing out of zamazenta and now we're gonna have to go back maybe when i'm editing the videos and see which which was that truly that last pack a Zashin one, because I don't remember either. Did I put it on the bottom or did I put it on the top? Because if I put it on the top, then that's technically a Zamazanta pull. But oh well. Four cards from the back going through these. I love the yellow border. I, I'm okay with the Paldea Evolved and the Scarlet and Violet being silver. But honestly, I think there's just something uh, really nostalgic about the uh, um, yellow on these. So there we go. Duralodon. So, all right. Zashin kind of beating him up right now. So there we go, Duraludon, very playable card too. Um, I think that was a part of the winning deck that was winning uh, last year's uh, Pokemon Regionals last year's. I'm pretty sure that's the winner. What he walked away with was uh, using that deck. So here we go, Zamazenta is gonna have another chance to give us something. We're looking for alt arts too. We haven't gotten a lot of those on this channel some stuff i feel like i pulled the glacian three times i need to start spreading it out and getting some better stuff I, Ooh, yes all right so there we go right there zamazenta doing some decent i know that pikachu's a really hard one to pull so so far we got two of the um galarian gallery cards and that's a good one to get i have definitely pulled this one maybe one time uh but that is a chase for sure so all right zashin off to the races finally so only about one hit behind i will say that Bia Bay, whatever her name is. Um, that's a good card to pull as well. Um, I like the autograph ones. I think those are a nice little touch that they put in these uh, sets. So I count that as a hit to a point. Definitely on the more rare side. Alicatric, Alicatric, Luxio, Grebin, Skrelp, Helioptile, Wooloo, Shinxy Shinx, Dubwool, and a Bellossom. So boo! Nothing out of that one. We're moving slow now, so let's just double check that we're doing this right. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. Wait, what? Oh, because <laughs> I got the tin. I couldn't remember. I was like, why do I have... T Each one has 11 booster packs, the premium boxes. I totally forgot that I got the tin. So what are we? Six packs in now is what it would be. Ten, ten, that's 20, 21, 22 plus five okay yeah so this is our sixth booster pack so far so four from the back 
Let's see if we can get something here. Friends in Snow, Gloom, Ultra Ball, Shinxy Shinx, Panchamam, Snow Runtunt, Rock Tangela, Tangrowth. Hey, look at that evolve. And there's Aurora V. Zer Aura V. Okay, all right, all right, all right. It's getting competitive now. It's getting competitive. I think we're about 50 50 on the pulls right now. Um, not spectacular, but it's still something. Gotta, gotta have a drink. Let's go on to the next one. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Shasha. Let's get the pulls going here, though. Come on. Let's get some of the V stars. Let's get some of the V's. Let's uh, like, like the alt arts. Let's, let's get some stuff. Let's get a, a gold card. Corefish. Energy search. Scyther. Really? Manaphy. Okay, so we're we're rolling in the Galarian cards, for sure. I mean, we got three of them already. We got three. Manaphy, yeah, this is the same old one. What was this set in? This was originally in Evolving Skies. It, it's good. Prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. It's good if you're protecting your bench. Um, I don't know. I, in my personal opinion, I'm putting damage counters on my bench. I'm playing a uh, Charizard V-Star deck with Arceus. And so the Charizard V-Star's attack is three energy. And if it has any damage counters on it, it does 230 damage. And it's not... Your attack doesn't work next turn. It's every time. Um, so I'm also playing was that Magma Basin to retrieve a energy out of your discard pile. Throw it on there. You put 20 damage on your Charizard, and you're you're good to go. Uh, Lunatone and Whale Lord. Lunatone's a card that everybody's playing right now. I hate that. I hate that Soul Rock and and Lunatone deck. I don't like people that. No offense. I like everybody. I just don't like that people do those decks that it takes forever to take them out. You gotta take out six Pokemon because they're playing only basics. They're playing no no power Pokemon. It's it's kind of annoying. It's really annoying to play. People just load up these Pokemon with 30 times however many energies they pull out. It's 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 frustrating. Emolga, Young Goose, Cherubi, Execute, Pawniard, and a Scizor. 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 Whatever you want to call it. So I don't know. At this point right now, Crown Zenith has got a has got a screw loose. It is so hard. To pull good stuff out of this set, man. I don't know. I feel like at first I was having a lot of fun and getting a ton of pulls and really enjoying it. But lately, I'm just like, this is its miserably hard to pull good stuff. I mean, I never see some, uh, you know, trim of glitter on the top letting you know that maybe there's a, a good uh, pack or a card coming. Switch. <laughs> Wow, whoopie doo, Charger Bug, Anna Ray, Quasi V. So that's the first double banger pack right there. And that was from... I think that was from the Zamazunt. I was too busy talking garbage about this. But whatever. Charge bug. I don't care for it. What does this do anyways? Whenever any player attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their Pokemon V, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. I mean, I guess that's a card that I should be playing in my in my deck then. Because then all I gotta do is take a take an energy and throw it on my Charizard and boom, there you go. Cause see, like why why wouldn't you want to put some damage counters on your Pokemon? Like I, I yeah, I, I guess Manfi. Manaphy, it's good for it, but I mean, I don't know. That's not that's not what people are playing right now, in my opinion. Boom. Enter, or, uh, code card for you guys. Four from the back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Lost Vacuum. Carnivine. Friends in Hisui. Hisui? Hisui. Grubbin. Skrelp. Lulu. Helioptal. Pancham. Tapu Lele. And a Luxray. No Lux today. Just a Luxray. No Lux today. Uh, just a Luxray. So I don't should we, we're not gonna end it on the Tyranitar one. You know, we're we're gonna go with who's gonna win the opening. And I think we're gonna be able to tell. Because at this time, I guess Zamazenta is winning. That's a bad cut right there. Graveler, Rare Candy, Luxio, Tangela, Baltoy, Galarian Meowth, come on, let's go. Whalmer, Shinx, Crushing Hammer, Reverse, and Zerora. Youch, 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 youch. Let's go here. Let's still make sure that I'm doing the right one. Because honestly, you, I start opening them and it's kind of hard to remember. Looks like I did. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, six, seven. Okay. No, we're right. Yeah, because that was what I just opened. So just making sure. It's, it's harder to remember than you think. I mean, there's so much going on behind this camera. I mean, organizing where the code card goes, where the... Uh, um, sleeves are where I'm putting the discard of bulk, another bad cut card, um, a lot of stuff going on. Scyther, Emolga, Young Goose, Cherubi, Execute, Mewtwo, and a Bellossom. So, guys, I'm sorry. I mean, I try to make these videos 
as fun and entertaining. I'm not saying this one stinks, but I mean, we really don't have anything great on the board yet. We still are kind of struggling to get anything. One, two, three, four. Let's go off to the races. Electric Energy, Crushing Hammer, Dust Clops, Trekking Shoes, Riolu, Young Goose, Chirubi, Starly, Switch, Hisui and Voltorb, Entei. Okay, so that's, that's something. That's something. Not getting mad about it. It's still something. I don't think I've ever pulled the Hisui and Voltorb. Look at him. I think it's cute. He's surrounded by apples. He's totally blending in. That's a ditto. He's a ditto, and he's blending in with the apples there. And they don't really look like apples. Those are actually acorns. So that means that Voltorb is like that big. Right? Because I mean an acorn's like that big. So he's like that big. I that's that's my interpretation. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Alright. Let's straighten up these piles just a tired bit. And where are we at now then? So we're over here though. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, come on, Zashin. I believe in you. I got a dollar on you, buddy. I owe myself a dollar if I don't win. One, two, tres, quattro. Fighting. Friends in Isui again, be my friend. Carnivine, rescue carrier, please rescue me. Corefish, energy search, let's search for a hit. Scyther, I don't got any fun for you, real. What? Now, what are the odds of that happening? How is that even possible? Two Hisui and Voltorbs back to back? That's, that's crazy. That's weird. How did that happen? So me just saying I don't have one, and then the Polka Gods... I don't know if it's Ash or if it's Red or who it is, but gave me a second Hisuian Voltorb. How interesting. Let's see what we got here now. Let's see if there's a Hisuian Voltorb again that wants to voice their opinion towards these pulls. Let's get something here, though. I'm not seeing anything poke out of the edges here that would, that would indicate that we're getting any sort of pull. I'm sorry, I'm stacking the bulk. Soul Rock, ugh. Croak, 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 switch. Execute. Love this. Emoga. Yanma. Energy search and a whale lord. Bunch of, bunch of boo. A bunch of boo. We're not getting anything. All right. See, so now I'm losing a little bit of hope because what? We got nine, ten booster packs left and we haven't hit any alt arts. No golds at this point. One, two, trace, quattro. All right, let's go here. Fighting energy, crushing hammer, dust clops, trekking shoes. There's something in this one finally. Rock rough, purloin, love disc. I can't wait to get to it. Chat top, dub wool, and a. Oh. Zamazenta V. So, I honestly thought that was going to be a good pull. It was not. And you know what's funny? The Zashin pulled the Zamazenta. So, okay. All right, all right, okay, okay. I don't got much to say about it. I mean, we're just ripping packs here, not really getting anything. There's a code card, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm getting a little skeptical about what's going on here because um, I do believe I did order these off of Amazon. I have no way to prove it except for how insanely difficult these were to open. I mean, it was, that glue was way too strong. I'm not blaming it solely on that, um, but I am skeptical of buying stuff off of Amazon. Cause this, I mean, it's to the point right where it doesn't make sense. It's, it's we've opened so many packs and we haven't gotten anything no alt arts. I mean, it, it seems mathematically impossible to open this many and get literally nothing. And I, I am getting a little frustrated right now because you guys, I'm not like these Poker Revs and these Poker Chloe's and these um, Brill Breaking Nates who have sponsorships and money that, yeah, see, there's money coming to them to uh, do these openings. Where was that? Over there. Sorry, guys, I'm getting a little frustrated right now because it's not cheap. I don't have this kind of money to just be blowing on nothing. I mean, in case you guys didn't notice, I do have an eBay page. I sell stuff, try to make my money back a little bit, break even just to open more packs to make some content. And here we are just kind of, I would say, throwing money in the trash. Shaman, Snow Runt, Tangela, Maltoy, Larian Mouth, Sizer, Zero, nothing. Okay, 
uh, now I'm getting skeptical and I'm getting a little frustrated. Definitely. So we got five booster packs left. Um, no V stars. I mean, these packs are definitely not resealed. The packs are fine. Um, the figurines look fine, but I don't think it's that hard to melt th that packaging and perhaps open it up and put in packs that you've already weighed that you know don't weigh that don't have anything. Rekora full count run up. Okay. All right. So, so see, you guys, you guys are seeing this though. I mean, it's. Let's see. I mean, here, here's here's my big thing. That's caked on. This is this is not supposed to. Let's see here. I mean, see, that doesn't usually just rip off like that. Like, you'd usually be able to see the glue in between it. And it's kind of... I don't know. I mean, I guess it doesn't look that abnormal. But whatever. All right. I'm not going to be a Ryan Downer. i got to be the commissioner here. i got to summon the cards. Four from the back. We only got three packs left. Are we even going to get anything of note? Wooloo, Shinx. If we pull a gold, then I'll say these are not weighed. These are not messed with. These are fine. Um, but I don't think that's true. I think these are tampered. We're going to do the Tyranitar because we're going to end it with these in the middle. Now, this seems... I don't know. And see, here's the thing, too. We did open a tin, so I don't... I mean, the tin probably was fine as well. But again, it's, I'm pretty sure it was from Amazon. I don't... I'm not positive, but I'm sure I can go back and see... Double check if that's where they're from. I'm pretty sure they are. Okay. Tarantar, you're not even in the fight. Not even in the fight, buddy. All right, this one's going to decide it, I guess. Let's count up what we got for uh, Zashin over here. So Zashin's got the Zamazenta, Hisuian, Voltorb, Manphy, Duraludon, Comfy. All right, so that's what we're fighting against right here. Let's see. Let's see what the Zamazenta's got to offer. Look at all these no pulls. Rayquaza V, whoop de doo. Radiant, whoop de doo. Regular V, whoop de doo. Pikachu, okay, that's okay. But, you know, it is what it is. Weighs the same as all the rest of the Calarian Gallery cards, I'm sure. So, let's see what we got. Actually, it's five and five. It's five and five, it looks like. Oops. So, let's see what we got. I'd say this is definitely the tiebreaker then. The big card out of this pile being the Pikachu, followed by the Hisuian's Aurora, or Voltorb, followed by those, doesn't matter. And then out of here, Comfy is definitely the leader. Mamphy, Voltorb. I would say that's that's pretty even. I don't know. So we'll start out with Zamazenta. Let's see what we get here. Who's the winner? Who will go home? Beautiful crimson-ish, reddish, purplish, whatever. One, two, three, four. Or the beautiful sky blue Zashin with the sword. Helioptile, sword or shield. Shinx, Pancham, Snow Runt, Cricketune. All right, coming through there. And the Raihan. Rayon? Ray, Ryan. I don't know. Cricketune. This is a sick card, though. I love it. I love it. I think it's great. Um, so that's putting Zashin in the lead, I would say. That's definitely putting Zashin in the lead. Uh, let's see. Or, I'm sorry. Zamazenta. Let's see what Zashin has to offer now. Let's see. This is for all the eggs in the basket. Looks like we are walking away without any V-Stars, without any alt art, without any gold. I am sorry, guys. I don't mean to do this. This is horrible i am so disappointed i would have gone into best buy and buying my pokemon uh crown zenith cards at this uh, i don't even know what card we're on right now checking shoe tracking shoes and drink all gilly because they have a little gold though so that's it guys sorry about that um this next week though i will have um hopefully no okay so this next week obsidian flames comes out comes out today is the third it comes out next week friday um these will be the crown zenith videos that are coming out um, and then we will have the Eevee Lucian's GameStop exclusive boxes. They were running a great promo on those. Buy one, get one 50% off. So I took advantage of that. And then after that, we will do Obsidian Flames. I got two Pokemon Center ETBs coming to me. And then I'm going to be buying some booster boxes of Obsidian Flames. Hopefully pulling that Charizard. Um, not a big fan of the crown, but we'll see. So until next time, guys, uh, continue liking, subscribing, and watching these videos. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.